Welcome back. Today, we got something new. And I'm pretty excited about it, actually. I bought myself a Capra. Um, I know they came out, I don't even know, a couple of years ago, probably. So I'm late to the Capra party, but there was just a really good sale on these, $100 off. Uh, couldn't pass it up. I'd had my eye on one for a while. I thought about doing the Rift, and then I was going to have to make the Rift slower and because I wanted it to be a crawler and so I decided to just when I saw the sale I was like yeah I'm just gonna pull the trigger on the Capra so I got a Capra obviously I did the the green you get the headlights and the light bar and the, the little drivers I don't know it's pretty cool uh, I went ahead and put my trail bead locks and high racks on it um, I, uh, when I ordered it, I ordered the aluminum skid pan, skid plate for the boat sides and the diff covers. It was just all one kit, pretty cheap, 20 bucks, but, uh, kind of cool. You got these, I don't know, it's like, it's got little teeth aggressive or I don't know it's just kind of funny but should be cool help protect the plastic all of the cage is hard molded um, I don't know I like it we'll see how it performs so put the put the high racks and the trail bead locks on it for a little bit of weight I moved the shock towers to the position that gives the body the lowest center of gravity and then you kind of can you can't really see but the way that it sits right like that all my links are just like parallel with the ground like it's sitting pretty flat still got plenty of squat that it can do this thing's flex is insanity And right there, I'm starting to lift a tire off the ground. I mean, that's... Whoop, that's, like, taller than the, the vehicle is tall. Is how much flex you get. So my tire is... taller than the vehicle. And I still have three points of contact. So, yeah, we'll... We'll get it outside and drive it. I just wanted to. It's really, it's cold. We had a cold snap and some wind and a little blowing snow and sleet. So it's kind of nasty out. But uh, the batteries, I guess, I don't, I was doing a bunch of research and not a lot of people cover the batteries on this thing. It's, it's, it's pretty specific. So you pull these two pins and you flip this cover up. And that's how you access the battery tray. Let me get you guys better situated here for that. So there's the battery tray. So it doesn't it doesn't take like your normal packs. You gotta have like a shorty pack. But I want runtime. I didn't want to run like a 1300 milliamp hour battery and only get to run this thing for a little bit before I'm constantly swapping batteries. So I hit the old Amazon Marketplace or Amazon Marketplace. That's funny. Amazon. And I ordered a couple of these. I got two of them for 60 bucks, I think. Anyway, Z Premium Series. I got a buddy that runs Z batteries. Uh, they seem to work well for him. Uh, the Capra is 3S capable, so I wanted a 3S battery. I wanted to have all the power that the truck was capable of, and I wanted runtime, so it's given me 
4,200 milliamp hours. And it's 3S, I think I already said that. Um, the problem, Axial does these IC3 connectors and these came with Deans. So I had to do my first attempt at soldering on new connections. So it turned out pretty well. It was a learning curve. I mean, we'll see it charged fine. All the cells are good. Um, we'll just see how it runs. But anyway, back, back to this battery tray. This should give me plenty of run time and I've got two of them. So I don't, I don't know. I, I will, I'll have to test it, but so this battery is almost perfect for the Capra. Look, look at how that sits in there. And then you take your balance lead and kind of tuck it down. And then I'll turn the controller on here. This will be the first time I plugged this thing in. So we'll see how that goes. But. There's no power switch on the Capra, so as soon as, as soon as you plug it in, it's powered. So kind of gotta tuck your cables around, and then I'll just put one pin in here. So. There you can see, I mean, I don't know. That's kind of janky. My light bar's f flickering. So that's not the, the greatest deal in the world, but whatever. And my headlights aren't even lit. So we'll have to look into that. But I got power. Got good steering. Forward. Got this thing. Takes some getting used to, but. <laughs> Just crawling around. That's funny. All right up this wall. Yeah. So anyway, we'll get a video going of this thing out and about. I will try to sort uh, this light problem or whatever. I mean, it can't be that big of a deal. Let's figure out what's going on there. Um, I wish it had a power button, though. I think I'll have to look into that a little bit but anyway there's my capra the next video will be this thing out and about doing this thing so thanks for watching